Hey guys, I feel like making a video post SEO. It's been a while since I made a vlog on this on my YouTube channel, and uh, you know, I just wanted to talk to you guys uh, about my thoughts post SEO while it's still like fresh in my head. I wanted to go over how I felt about my performance. Um, obviously, I didn't do too hot, so I want to talk about performance itself and what I could have done better and will do to fix my problems for the for the future and after that I'll go into my uh, what those future plans are both short and long term so SEO was like a four week format um, weeks one and two I did pretty solid you know beat all my opponents stay in D1 I, uh, I also beat like Wizzy week two in a pretty convincing set, but in week three, I lost to um, Cody and Moki. In week four, I lost to Cody again in um, the double limit bracket because I um, did kind of bad in week three. I uh, started in D2 and lose this bracket for week four. Yeah, week so week three, I played pretty poorly against Cody. Um, played Moki. Almost did a reverse 3-0, and then I kind of dropped the ball at the very end. Um, week 4, I started in losers. I did beat Ben and played better against Cody, but at the end, I actually choked like pretty badly. So, like, looking back at those sets, I wanna, I'm thinking, like, what's the main problem? Um, what's my main problem? You know, I, I've been practicing a lot, and in practice, I'm playing like the best melee of my life. And um, my overall preset approach is like by far the best it's ever been. Like um, nowadays, when I like prep, I I like study opponents pretty hard, and um, I don't develop like a good strat against them. Like I'm, I'm still like a, I'd, I'd say a pretty instinctual player. That's still my forte, but um, you know I prepped really hard for Ben, and um, I did the best I've ever done against him by a lot. But um, you know, I'm thinking like, what's what's my um, main problem? And I realized like historically in the past, I I actually play like really differently in tournament than practice. And um, sometimes it's by like a really large amount. Rollback actually fixed this because I grinded like a couple tournaments a week, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, and. Um, you know, once I got the fiber internet after moving to this new place that I live now, like, uh, I grinded, like, a lot in the past year, and, um, you know, it culminated in me getting to, like, rank number three, unofficially, in my opinion, after I won, like, uh, Galintz and did well for Loco. You know, for Loco, I beat Zane. One of the few people to beat Zane. And got second place, and then Galentz, I, I won the whole thing. And that's a pretty tough major that I won. So what was my problem? Um, I think I think that um, I didn't compete at all after 4 local Galentz. And, uh, you know, I guess it was like partially burnout. Like, uh, I think every melee pro has been like doing rollback only for like over a year now. And... You know, I felt like pretty burnt out as well. Or maybe I just had like an ego that I didn't have to like compete as much. You know, there's no need for me to enter events. I felt like um, maybe I like kind of proved myself and I don't need to enter events. I can do solo practice, which I kind of opted for. Like, um, I still play friendlies like almost every day. I stream like all my practice sessions. But, um,. You know, I actually like really focused on like improving my floor, which I think I actually did. I think I'm better. I'm a better player than I was at Galintz. Um In terms of actual like Falcon tech and skill, I've been reading like uh, Chef Rock's cookbook and take to heart like Sachi's advice. And that those, it's really been helping me out like for a lot of the mainstream matchups. But um, my number one problem I think was by not entering events. I'm not being like high pressure tournament sets. Like you play friendlies only, you're not gonna ever get nervous playing friendlies, right? 
even like first to fives against people, like you're never gonna like uh, you know, feel the pressure like oh shit, I'm gonna lose, or um, you're in a rough spot. You know what I mean? Like uh, you don't really get that for friendlies. So I think my not entering events after Golint was like a it increased my choke factor by a lot since I you know Golint was like a mid March. And now it's like early May. I, I didn't really compete for like over a month. So my overall floor and skill like rose since Golentz. I'm still grand in the game, but my choke factor got went up by a lot. Simply because I'm not entering events and like uh, being under pressure. That's my personal belief. That's like my number one mistake. Especially during weeks three and four. I had 3-0 comeback on Moki and choke game five. And... I choked a couple games against Cody um, today. A lot of people said I should have won four of the five games. They, they got a point, but uh, you know it is what it is. I got too nervous or something happened. So yeah, yeah. On top of that, uh, been trying to make like more content. Um, whether it's like smash related or like random stuff like tier lists. But yeah, I should just be focusing on my main job as like a sponsor pro gamer, which is to do well at tournaments and all that. On top of that, um, I think my mindset was uh, pretty weak for all of SCL. Like it's a pretty rough format, non-standard. Like a lot of it besides week four was single limb, instantly playing like someone really hard. So it's not like a... It's not a walk in the park for anybody involved, like... It's tough. It's really tough, like... You gotta play hard people right away. So... I don't know, my mentality was, like, kinda poor. It should always be about, like, beating everybody and winning every event you enter. For, like, SCL, I think I cared more about, like... You know, I hope I stay in Division 1. Or, like, yeah, I hope my opponent's really bad so I can stay in D1 easily. Instead of like winning the whole event every time. My mentality was like a little bad in that respect. And um, you know week 4 is like, like top 6 to summit. Get to the summit so I'm like alright. Just get top 6 and I'm good. Doesn't matter about the rest necessarily. But honestly I think that made my choke factor even go higher. Because like it, I just put more pressure on myself to win like the key sets. So. Yeah. By not competing in like the TMTs, the West Coast Rumbles that I normally enter like every week for months, months and months, like uh, I think that actually cost me enough to like choke against like Moki and and Cody multiple times. I mean, granted they're like world, world class opponents and they have my respect, fantastic players, but you know I kind of I definitely like I think I regress as a competitor by not competing. I can't, um, I realize I can't, especially now that I can't like half-ass it. I have to compete. I can't just play a bunch of friendlies then. When I do like play at tournaments after like a month or so, like, you know, I can't, I can't just play my best as a competitor. So I'll probably never do that again. I'm always going to enter a couple hard events every week. I made some tweets about it. It's a pretty good realization. Like I realize, uh, you know, I don't have um, the natural skill or talent to like uh, always play my best without, um, you know, grinding events. I can't just play friendlies, no matter how, how well I think my friendlies sessions are for improving. Uh, I really got to grind tournaments. So, you know, I'm back on the grind for like TMTs, West Coast Rumbles. Next Sunday is going to be Ginger's uh, $1,000 pop bonus events, so I'll enter that. And yeah, I'm going to go heavy into entering rollback events. And um, we'll do so until land comes back, which I question. There'll be like a transitional period, we'll see what happens. Um, but, you know, I think online events will happen for a very long time. 
and I'll probably just keep entering to stay sharp. I know like uh, I'm betting you like uh, the top six at Summit, a lot of them will take a break. But now nah, I'm going to keep grinding and uh, if I get into Summit, I'll, you know, it's going to pay off the grind while they like kind of take a break and sit back. Melee is a game that evolves constantly. If you're not staying sharp, then it's really easy to fall behind. And I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably um, try not to regress as a competitor. I think that's a huge realization for me overall. So yeah, next few months gonna compete a lot. And Summit's uh, looming in July. With voting happening during June and um, there's gonna be a last chance qualifier event, but it's after voting. I was really hoping the qualifier would be before the voting. But it's not, so. The question is, will I campaign for your summit then? I, I'd say if my skill is, um... I think my skill's there already, I think, when I'm playing really well and all the new stuff I've been learning and developing. I can absolutely be, like, a top three contender at summit. It's just, like, um... Because I haven't, like enter tournaments for like over a month I think uh, my choke factor or like tournament mentality is uh, a little scuffed but I can fix that by entering a lot of events and grinding it out which I plan to do I'm going to stream all my events at least two events a week so come end of June there's, I don't know exactly when voting will be but come end of June um, if I think I deserve it I'll probably campaign and what are my terms? I want to win like 80% of events and keep improving. I don't want to just get voted into Summit and then like, like suck a fatty. And you know, it's the first line event coming back with top level competition. I really want to um, be there and compete. It's been over like, it's going to be like a year and a half almost. You know, Summit's, you know, Summit's dope. And all that. I, I definitely want to prove myself and redeem myself because you know I've, I've been doing the best since Galint. So yeah, if I think I can, if I think I deserve it, I'll campaign. And yeah, that's all I got to say. Um, overall, good lesson learned. Good humbling experience. Um, I'm not um, really depressed about like choking. If anything, I'm like more uh, empowered to do well and like grind it out. Like I've been kind of like lazy and uh, not feeling melee since Galint. You know, but now I'm like pretty fired up to like compete and uh, get back to where I want to be and then some. So yeah, let's try to get back to being Mr. Number 3, maybe better. Even if it's just rollback, and uh, you know, definitely pay off once Slime comes back full force. Assuming I uh, still have the means to be a full-time melee player, which I think I will. And again, I'll stream all of that. I'll also stream um, the typical good games I love playing, like StarCraft. I'll try to do more content-focused streams. And um, I'm going back to running my bi-weekly sub events. There's going to be one this Wednesday. And I'm going to double the prize pool because I canceled last week's. And, you know, I might do some giveaways as well. You know, I'm still trying to be an overall better streamer, competitor, and all that. You know, if you guys got any, like, suggestions, advice, whatever, I like, I'm very open-minded. And all that. You know, I'm always trying to be a better content maker or uh, streamer. You know, just trying to give back to you guys. You know, a lot of people have uh, supported me, whether it's by subbing or just being a fan. And um, it's allowed me to live my life as a, my best life as a gamer. So, you know, I just want to give back in a good way. So, yeah. Um, 
thank you guys for supporting me even when I uh, do bad. And, um, you know, I'll definitely work really hard to uh, reverse this bad results and just keep improving as a player. I, I think uh, if you look at my career, I I pretty much have an upwards like trajectory. Some bumps. This feels just like a... I guess it's just like a, a bump, hopefully. I mean, whatever happens, happens, but yeah, we'll grind it out. We'll grind, we'll try my best. Got my word. And that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching this vlog. I'll try to make some more uh, when I feel the time is right. Appreciate all you guys.